Blood in stools is one of the commonest complaints encountered in clinical practice. The cause of bloody stools can vary from a simple diarrheal disease to a life-threatening condition, such as cancer. Major causes of per-rectal bleeding include hemorrhoids, anal fissures, colorectal cancer, inflammatory bowel disease, diarrheal diseases, diverticular disease, and angiodysplasia of the colon. Let's discuss about these conditions in more detail. Hemorrhoids are probably the most common cause of per-rectal bleeding. Causes of hemorrhoids include chronic constipation, pregnancy, portal hypertension, which is associated with liver cirrhosis, and pelvic tumors. Hemorrhoids cause bleeding after defecation, and usually there is no associated pain. Hemorrhoidal bleeding causes streaks of fresh blood in the stools. Bleeding may occur either drop by drop, or blood may flash into the pan, as you can see in this picture. Untreated hemorrhoids can give rise to a few complications, including prolapse and thrombosis. Anal fissures are caused by chronic constipation and hard stools and inflammatory conditions like Crohn's disease. Individuals with anal fissures experience sharp and severe pain. The pain usually starts during defecation and lasts longer after defecation, usually for hours. Just like in hemorrhoids, there is fresh bleeding and spurting of blood is seen. Colorectal cancer is the most serious and worrisome condition out of all these diseases. It affects individuals between 50 to 70 years of age. Unlike hemorrhoids, colorectal cancer gives rise to dark rectal bleeding, and blood is usually mixed with stools. Individuals will also have altered bowel habits. In addition, they will have spurious diarrhea, which is characterized by mucoid stools early in the morning and tenesmus or a feeling of incomplete evacuation despite no fecal matter is in the rectum. Colorectal cancer can give rise to several complications. Subacute bowel obstruction is one of them. Individuals may experience on and off colicky abdominal pain and abdominal distension. Local spread of the tumor can lead to intractable back pain. Distant spread of the tumor to other organs such as liver, lungs, brain and bone can lead to loss of appetite and loss of weight, chronic cough, early morning headache, and bone pain respectively. Inflammatory bowel disease is a chronic inflammatory disorder which occurs in two distinct forms, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Chronic inflammation in the gastrointestinal tract gives rise to blood and mucous diarrhea and systemic symptoms such as fever. Other features include joint pain and swelling, skin rashes, and oral ulcers. Major infectious disease that causes bloody stools is amebiasis. It is characterized by blood and mucous diarrhea, abdominal pain, and systemic symptoms such as fever. Finally, diverticular disease is a condition characterized by formation of outpouchings in the colon. It affects older individuals, typically older than 80 years of age, and it causes altered bowel habits such as constipation or diarrhea.